Jeff Kevin, how are you? I am so good talking to you now. How are you? How's your I, day going? It's going good, and it just got better because I get to talk to Chef Kevin Belton. Girl. He's celebrating the flavors of Mardi Gras. Now, you guys know I'm from New Orleans. I still celebrate no, Mardi Gras no matter where I am. But I brought in an expert this time because he's here to give us some award-winning teaching lessons about Mardi Gras. Chef Kevin, I'm so excited that you're here. I, I'm so happy to be with you, you know, and you got to come back home and visit. I know, uh, but I make New Orleans wherever I am. I really do. I cook mostly Creole food. People know my household as a Creole, and I think they've learned a lot about Mardi Gras. Well, you know, and, that, and that's what's great. That's, uh, you know, growing up, I'm a New Orleanian, you know, and I grew up near the parade route. And one of the things I learned from mom, you only need three things to make a good Mardi Gras celebration. And all that is is basically, you know, family, friends, and get you some Zatarans. And it's, <laughs> the party started. That is so good. You know, we love Zataran, those of us who live out of state. You know, we frequent uh, uh, supermarkets that, that focus in on that. Anything from New Orleans, those are the places we shop. So what is a favorite Mardi Gras dish that other people can make or need to know about? Well, I don't know. I remember growing up, we always had to have jambalaya. And, you know, one of the reasons I love teaming up with Zatarans is because their smoked sausage, they do three different types. They do an on Dewey, they do a Cajun style, and they have a brand new blackened seasoned chicken flavor that here in the jambalaya, I use the Cajun style. But you can mix and match, use any one you want. But you know, you have to have that bowl of jambalaya because Mardi Gras sometimes is chilly, so it warms you up and it keeps you nice and warm waiting on that parade to come by. How, what are some of the other ways to serve up Mardi Gras for people who want to make Mardi Gras? You gotta realize, you know, after Hurricane Katrina, so many of us disperse to other places, especially Houston and many places in, uh, in Dallas, in Texas. So well, how do we serve up that Mardi Gras flavor each year. Well, something that I have like to do, especially with that brand new blackened seasoned chicken sausage, is I'll fire up the grill, throw that blackened seasoned chicken sausage on the grill, and, and, and I don't want people to be afraid when I say blackened. You know, it's all about flavor. It's not hot, but it's flavorful. But I take the sausage and I slice it, stick a pretzel stick in it instead of a toothpick, because now you can eat the whole thing, and I'll grab a little Zatarain's Creole mustard. Little mayonnaise, little honey. Now you got a dipping sauce so you can munch on that sausage while that jambalaya finishes cooking because you always have those folks that are greedy and are ready to eat as soon as they arrive. <laughs> That's so true. You, you, you know who I'm talking about. Exactly. I want to let my guests know in case you don't know, uh, Mardi Gras is February 21st. We call it Fat Tuesday. And Chef Kevin uh, Belton is here just giving us some tips. He's an award-winning chef. He's an author, a TV personality. So you're getting authentic <laughs> Mardi Gras information. Chef, what does your Mardi Gras look like this year? Well, you know, I like to stay fat every day, to tell you the truth. Ooh. <laughs> but, well, you know, when, you, hey, when you're 6'9 and you're 340, you can say that, you know? But it's, it's all about enjoying the day it's all about getting together with family and friends. And, and I got to tell you, it's, it's, you know, a lot of us these days are watching our health and things like that. And one of the great reasons why I like teaming up with Zatarans is because these sausages are 100% pork. They don't have any kind of filler in them, none of that byproduct, nothing artificial for color or flavor. Plus, you know, no MSG, and a lot of folks have gluten issues, and there's no gluten in it. So it's all about just having a good time with family and friends and sharing food. That, you know that's what it's all about. It's that visit. It, that is exactly what it's about. Well, Chef Kevin, you embody Mardi Gras because you talk about the things that people need to know about, and that's family and friends and good food. We love good food. Hey, you know, it, it's, that's something that I'm sure you miss from New Orleans is all about that visiting because we grow up at the kitchen table. And, and what's nice is it doesn't matter what's being served. And you know, wherever you are, you go to the grocery store, you grab you, whether it's the on Dewey, 
whether it's the Cajun style, whether it's that black and seasoned chicken sausage, throw it in the pan, throw it in the oven, throw it on the grill, it'll work and it'll give you that New Orleans flavor no matter where you are. That's what's great about it. That's what's great about it. We love Zataran products, and you can find them across the nation on your shelves. But can you go online and get them? I think you can, Jeff. You know, some places will have them online, but I tell you what, for more information, everybody just needs to go to Zatarans.com or for social media, go to at Zatarans, and you can find out the information. Jeff Belton, thank you for helping us celebrate Mardi Gras on the Founder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Hey, happy Mardi Gras, everybody. Stay safe. You know, love you, girl. Come on back home. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I've partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books. Books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.